Hello everyone and welcome back to me Shiva Wilson and my channel which is all about legalizing recreational flower in the UK. Okay so today I've got a an argument between a recreational flower advocate and a medical flower patient. They are called John and Jane respectively. So here's a fictional argument between them um, highlighting the different perspectives they might have. So remember you've got Jane the medical flower patient and John, the recreational flower advocate. So the setting is in a bustling coffee shop filled with the aroma of freshly brewed coffee and the murmur of conversations. <laughs> Characters, as I've said, you've got Jane and John. So Jane is a woman in her late thirties wearing a comfortable sweater and holding a small discreet vaporizer. Let's pretend this, this is a nicotine vape. <sighs> She's been using flour for chronic pain relief. Let me just have a quick vape on this. That's nicotine for y'all. And then we've got recreational flower advocate John, a young man in his early 20s wearing a brightly coloured t-shirt with a flower leaf design. He's passionate about the legalisation and acceptance of flour for all. And here's the argument between the two of them. They're having a bit of a discussion here. Jane sighs. <sighs> I don't get it. You're all about recreational use, but what about the people who actually need flour for their health? John, eyes widening. Of course I care about medical patients. Legalisation is about giving access to everyone. You know, including those who rely on flour for their well-being. Jane says, but it seems like you're all about getting high, having fun, and that's great but it's not the same as needing flour to function, to manage pain, to get through the day. John scoffs. Come on, don't be so judgmental. Everyone has different reasons for using flour, whether it's for fun, for relaxation, or for medical reasons. It's about personal choice and freedom. Jane says, yeah, but those choices have consequences. Imagine needing to get a prescription just to get your medication. It's a hassle, and it can even be stigmatising. John says, That's exactly why we need full legalisation. Imagine a world where flour is as readily available as coffee or alcohol. No stigma, no hassle, just responsible use. Jane shakes her head. I don't know. I still worry about the message it sends. It feels like the serious side of flour is getting lost in all the fun talk. John leaning in. Well, we need to change that narrative. We need to educate people about the benefits of flour, both medical and recreational. It's time to break the stereotypes and embrace the full spectrum of flour use. Jane, thinking thoughtfully. Hmm. Maybe you're right. I just want people to understand that for some of us, this isn't about getting high. It's about getting better. John smiling. I hear you. And that's why we need to work together, patients and advocates, to build a future where flour is accepted and accessible for everyone, for all the right reasons. The two individuals sit in silence for a moment, their opposing views seemingly reconciled by a shared desire for a better future where flour is understood and valued for its full potential. Amen. Remember, this is a fictional scenario that explores the complex relationship between medical and recreational flour use. The real world is filled with diverse perspectives on flower, and this dialogue represents just one possible interaction between two individuals. So what do you think of that? I think they both got good points. Um, John, the flower advocate, doesn't really talk about the benefits of uh, legalising flower in terms of society, like the jobs it can create, the lessening of the black market, the lessening of gang violence, um, and so on. <laughs> And Jane doesn't really touch on why it shouldn't be recreationally legal, like things, the arguments like psychosis, 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 the scary arguments and, um, oh, people are going to start killing people because they get high and then they turn into murderers. Yeah, reefer madness, people, reefer madness. But yeah, um, there you go. Just a little conversation there. It's not about high and having fun. It's about having your medical uh, flower. And then, oh, well, it is about having responsible use and access from choice and freedom for everyone. Interesting discussion there. Thanks very much for watching. 
I've been Shiva Wilson and we've been trying to legalize recreational flour in the UK. Remember to like, share and subscribe the video. Subscribe the video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Good night.